Welcome back to the violent end of Duncan Malvain. But this guy does patrol out here. Well, he almost caught us just a minute ago, last episode. But uh, he seems to be mostly calm now. I think there's at least two cards in this courtyard. There might be some loot too. I've not set, not really set foot in here before. There's also not much darkness, <laughs> which is annoying. Right, so he goes in there. I wonder which where he comes out. What have we got here? Crumpled paper. Francis, if you want more of the really good stuff, come by Sunday night. Not the usual place. Sir. The Bulldogs have been a ferreting around. Come to Jillian's shop any time after seven. Use the back entrance and make sure you're not followed. Okay. Francis being the uh, daughter with the drug addiction, I guess. Duncan Elizabeth's second daughter is famous for her drug habits and as for her career as a painter of scandalous art. Oh, the guard just came back out. Hello? Anyone there? Nothing there. Weird. Okay, he's going back the way he came. That's quite alright for me. Supposed to be one on the ground in the courtyard. Just look down on the courtyard from above, you'll see one on the ground. But, um, let's also check on this trellis. Is it a trellis? Or is this the other thing? Two different kinds of constructions for plants to grow on, whose names get used pretty interchangeably. Here he comes. Well, maybe I'll just wait up here. I cannot see a card on the ground from here. Which is... Uh, well, slightly vexing. Oh, he... Goes all over the place, okay. Hmm. Oops, that's noisy. Let's be not noisy and let's not be right either. Which one is it? We saw this courtyard on the ground. There's a purple hole between flowers and wall, which I don't know. I guess it's a hole indoors somewhere. Uh, above courtyard, opposite clock. That's not the one I was thinking of. Front yard behind door. Lean to see courtyard. Number six of. And there, I didn't even see what that was. Is that. Uh... Clubs? That's not the club's book. It's a card of clubs. What are you doing? Nope, not six hearts. Lean out to see the green courtyard. You'll find the six. It isn't hard. Okay, it's probably like up there. <laughs> up there or something. <laughs> I can already see it. Yeah. If you're on the balcony leaning out to the courtyard, you'll find the card quite easily. But it's not in the courtyard. Okay. So that is the west side here, so we can go we can go in the door there. Wow, there's two guards going down here, that's what confused me. What is this room that I've never been in? It feels extremely unsafe. City Echo, June 4th. Okay, so finally I know the date that he was murdered. I think it told me at one point, but um if I ever need to correlate, he's murdered murdered on June the fourth. Let me actually make a note. Ah, uh, well actually. 
This morning, yeah, so night of June 3rd. Prominent nobleman murdered. Lord Duncan Malvine was found dead in his home this morning by cleaning staff. The city watch is treating the death as suspicious, but no suspects have been arrested at the time of going to press. Details of the crime have not been released, but we will bring you full details as soon as we can. Lord Malvine leaves behind a widow, Mrs. Elizabeth Malvine, who, at the time of the murder, was last night's guest of honour at Lady Ashworth Charity Ball for the orphanage she helped to fund. None of the Malvine family were available for comment, but this reporter has been as yet unable to verify the alibis of any other family members. Right, that suggests... Hello. Stone bus, that feels like it could be useful. Let me just get the lights here, just in case of surprise. Lord Gregor Malvine, faithful husband to Maria, devoted father to Duncan. And we've hit the loot girl. Good. I wonder if that bust is what we need. Put a, put a note here. We could probably swap that for the crystal, right? I don't know if it's the same weight for sure. But it could be. Hard fucking noisy floors, huh? Alright, well. Oh, this is a bad room. I know somebody walks in and out of here. Uh, wait. No, this is this is not the bathroom. This is the bathroom. Probably no one walked in and out of here. Maybe. One cannot say for sure. Why is there a little nook there? I guess that's for the, the, the overflow drain for the water. Just detailed. Out there. That's that's nice. You might you might come into the lives. Good hooks. Well, they're for towels rather than coats, right? Well, let's just see if any of them appear wobbly. Nope. Right, so now we're in the bedroom of Dr. Terence Graves. I'm glad the loot goal wasn't too hard to get. Appointments June June third. Travel out to Lady Wrigley's country estate. Return from Lady Wrigley's. Hmm. Says he wasn't here at the time of the murder. We better check the list we have because it does does cast shade on some alibis. Annual fitness checkup for Lord Melvin cancelled. Patient deceased. Mm hmm. No appointments. Expect to be hungover. Where's my list? Doctor, 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 doctor. What's his name? Terence Gray. Family got fat, lecherous toad. Have to group seven girls. Right. I mean, I'll read this in a second. June 6th, my dear friend Duncan Melvin has passed away and his wife Elizabeth grows frailer by the day. It is truly a shame that none of his children are worthy of his name in this humble doctor's opinion. Venal, squabbling little oiks, the lot of them. 
Even now that we are all gathered to mourn dear Duncan's passing, I can hear the excitement in their voices as they whisper amongst themselves about what they might inherit. It is poor Elizabeth I worry for the most. Who will look after her now that Duncan is gone? I can see she is going to see now. She has taken to writing important information on little notes and leaving them about the place. But I look around at her extended family and, frankly, the only person I would trust to look after her is me. Dear Dr. Graves, Long have you been a worthy physician and loyal friend to my family. I face a problem, and I do not know who else to turn to. My wife, Lucy, who, as you well know, is impossibly headstrong, has taken to gambling at every conceivable opportunity. It is an addiction for her, and worse, she loses more often than she wins. My own savings have dwindled to almost nothing, and I fear she has her eyes set on the family fortune next. Is there anything you can prescribe, any treatment, that might quell her appetite for card games and thrill-seeking bets? Yours faithfully, Raymond Melby. Well, okay, so Lucy might have murdered him to get the inheritance for gambling with, right? Feels like the doctor we can probably cross off the list, but, uh... Where are we here? This is Dorian Thornwood. This is a lawyer who was into astronomy somehow. Last will and testament of Lord Duncan Malveen. I, Duncan Wilhelm Geoffrey Malveen, do make this my last will and testament. Firstly, to my wife, Elizabeth Malveen, I leave my full estate, including the house in the city and the premises upon which it is built, with all contents therein, and what finances I have deposited with First City Bank and Trust, with the following exceptions. To my eldest son, Raymond, I give and bequeath my country estate and grounds, including all contents therein, and hunting rights for the estate, as well as the sum of 350 silver pieces. To my eldest daughter, Darcy, I give and bequeath all the books from my library, as well as the sum of 300 silver pieces. To my second son, Leon, I give and bequeath my share of the tavern, the Gilded Peacock, premises in Oldale, total one-third of the ownership of said business, as well as the golden gear from my chapel, in the hopes that it reminds him of the true path as well as the sum of 200 silver pieces. To my second daughter, Frances, I give and bequeath the collection of artifacts in my gallery, as well as the sum of 200 silver pieces. To my housekeeper, Mrs. Agatha Harkwell, I give and bequeath the sum of 100 silver pieces. To my captain of the guard, Mr. Gilbert Harkwell, I give and bequeath the jeweled sword Thief's Bane and the sum of 25 silver pieces. To all other servants in my employ, I give and bequeath a sum of money equal to exactly one month's wages. To my good friend Miss Bridget Crawford, I give and bequeath my two musical victrollers in the hope that they may inspire her angelic singing. Signed, Lord Duncan Malvin. Dear Mr Thornwood, I beg of you to speak to your client Samuel Yarms on our behalf. Our family has lived and worked on this land for generations. Now we are to be turned out, destitute, with nowhere to go. Surely the good Lord Yarms has a heart. How am I to provide for my family if he evicts us? Yours in hope, Gamma Hopkirk. Rainy just think that's the first readable that doesn't actually seem related to this place. Hello. What's that good lawyer doing with a flash bomb? Is it so he can drop it and say, OBJECTION! Thornwood. While I appreciate your diligence and expertise, I am also growing tired of sifting through paperwork. For example, was Monday evening's meeting entirely necessary? Can you not simply prepare documentation entirely in advance for me to sign? You surely do not need my stamp of approval for every little bit of legal jargon. All I am trying to do is ensure there will be no unpleasant legal fallout to my evicting the riffraff from my estate. I had no idea it would prove this tiresome. Is there no way we can expedite the process, perhaps through some financial incentive? Let us come to some arrangement. Yours sincerely, Lord Samuel Yarms. Mm. Fucking hell. Don't think the guards saw me, but uh, that was a ridiculously close call. Mm -hmm. He's walking normally. I don't know how he didn't see me, but... Uh, I am, I am quite glad he didn't. C. Bridget Crawford. 
All right, let's go check out Bridget's room. City Tribune, June 4th. Opera's opening night marred by stars' absence. The City Opera House played host last night to the glorious opening of a new opera by renowned composer Mr. Wesley DeWitt, a romantic retelling of the saga of St. Jura. However, its star, the celebrated soprano Bridget Crawford, was missing, citing a sore throat. The part was played by an understudy, while Miss Crawford recovered at the home of Lord Duncan Malvin. The Opera House, so recently reopened after the scandal of its previous owner, Lady Valerius, was packed with the city's finest nobility, many of whom had been looking forward to hearing Miss Crawford sing. So she was here, claiming a sore throat, so that... Her alibi is, uh, entirely absent. And why would she want to murder him? I don't have the slightest motive. Oh well. Another day spent in this accursed house surrounded by sycophants and idiots. At least I no longer have to be concerned about the lecherous old drunkard wandering in and leering at me. I must practice looking sad for the funeral. Yet almost as bad is Lucy coming to fawn over me like some upwardly mobile toad. The ghastly woman actually believes she can sing. She had the gall to suggest we sing a duet together. There's only so many ways I can politely drop hints for her to go away and leave me alone forever. She appears to hate everybody here, but uh... Probably not to the point of murdering the guy, right? Pot of plants. Oh, is that the same weight as the crystal? I don't know, but let's make a, a note. Just in case I want it. If we go out the east door, then we go back to the theatre. We need to head north. Let's check out the ballroom, smoking room, and so on. Which is unfortunately exactly where he's going right now. That's right, we can stop him in this room here. the guard to go back past. <clears throat> this is why we have a cup of coffee. When we have to sit and watch and wait, we can take a sip. Guards wandering all around here as well. I mean, I shouldn't have taken the detail here, but I just wonder if there might be anything on here. Apparently not. Someone heard me. Right, I should be pretty safe back here, I think. I'll turn you up soon enough. I do wonder if he's searching the floor above. Ah, there he is. If he comes too far this way, I will try and just distract him with a suspicious sound. Oh wait, that hit the statue in front of me, didn't it? Damn it! How'd you get in here? 
Can you see me? I'll find you. I'll find you. Watch for an intruder. Right, he did see me through the statue. But now I got it between us and he forgot. Come out and face me, villain. I think we've got someone in here. I'm mean, gonna do have another flash bomb. I'll find you. Damn you. Come back. Watch for an intruder. I've seen some problems. <clears throat> uh. Uh. Why is he not flash? <clears throat> Why is he not knocked out? I flashbang you, dude. I'll see your butt. Just you wait, Tapper. You're in for it now. Can't hear it anymore. Probably not. You've met with the wrong man. Intruder. Fuck. You're in for it now. So dead now. I am. I expect I am quite dead. Be so cheery when my friends arrive. I'll find you. Get you wait. Stay alert. There's an intruder around here. Damn. Yeah. Alright, well apparently there is a card in the theater I missed, so. So we while we wait for that debacle to Untangle itself. Such again in these chairs where I was looking for loot last time I was here, but maybe I missed a card. No? Which one was it? Two of diamonds. Let's look at the diamonds. Second watches and applauds the acting troops. The tread the boards. Like, really is. In the audience. So it doesn't necessarily need to be up here. It might be in the lower or something. Should not have taken that rope arrow out. <laughs> hmm, getting down will be inconvenient. Watches and applauds. I mean, it's That's... where else could it be? It's be on the rail. Maybe sandbag. That also might be. Heavy enough, right? I have no idea how much this thing weighs. So I have no idea which of these heavy things might be suitable for a replacement. Bit noisy, but uh, I think the guards have left the room below. I guess not. <clears throat> Ouch. And I really didn't have the two of diamonds already. Keep your eyes open. There's a prowler running around loose. Well. Ah. Alright, he's giving up now. I saw an intruder earlier. Stay sharp. But they had to turn the lights back on in here, didn't they? Well, it seems to have calmed down. Huh. I completely lost my train of thought where I was and what I was doing where I was going. <sighs> I 
don't understand why this card would be, it doesn't seem to be in either of these sections. Alright, well, we want to go... West and north again, which is kind of... Wait. Rooms off limits, where am I? Oh, wait, I mean, this this corridor. I don't think I've actually been in this corridor over yet. Maybe there's valuables? Not really. Sack of compost. Let's move it here. I mean, I could try any of these heavy things, but if it's the wrong weight, it says I'll set the alarm off. So how am I supposed to know the right weight? I know a guy comes in here, so I need to be careful. Also, I don't want to be on this side of the house yet, right? There's one above the banquet hall. Um... Well, that door went into the wall and disappeared. Fair enough. Fair enough. I was a door and thief. I too would watch, wish to disappear often. Me? I don't need more flashbang flashbangs, dude. Why don't you run for your friends? Oh. Back here and fight. Fuck, you've got fucking bow and arrow. Ruth. Oh, get rid of the fucking cards. Oh look, he gets to use the exception. That was your last shot. I knew this trapdoor would be useful. Seems a good opportunity. There we are. They'll accuse him of having some very strange uh, desire to commune with the chalk outline of a dead body. A very strange indeed. Alright, well, I guess. You know, I did say I wasn't going to knock out all the guards, but I guess through. chance I guess I will we seem to have two doorways here oh that's a little cloak room All right firstly I did not clean up this mess because Right, that other guy I just knocked out was the other one of these two, right? Who, for some reason, I couldn't KO him when he was flashed. He was still stuck in his stun animation, but it just didn't work. That's alright. He's down now. Chase me into the theatre, and I played my Jack in the Box trick. Oh, 
Oh no. Be prepared for another jump scare, everyone. Just looks into another bathroom. Whoops. And entrance. Oh, we have the clubs. Where goes missing page six? I bound my hand to staunch the flow of blood, then carefully picked up the idol again, using my spare belt to wrap the thing such that it would not cut me again. I lifted it gingerly and watched as tilting it caused the entire structure to continue to shift and slide into itself with a sound like a hundred knives being quietly sharpened, until the humanoid form I had initially seen was unrecognisable, and in its place was a shape of abstract horror that defies all description. I felt a cold chill as though some arctic wind were blowing down the passage and my torch fluttered so much I thought it must surely go out. I tipped the statue again and the flickering firelight revealed its original shape returned from the confusion of twisted bronze slivers. Then a great, deep, echoing groan reaching me, reached me, seeming to echo from all around, and I ran back the way I had come, clutching the strange idol as carefully as I could. This secret passage does not seem to come with its own jump scare. So I'm grateful for that. Alright, we got the eight of clubs, was it? Cloakroom? Casual eight of clubs. I have a feeling the other guard we knocked out there was the one who controls this corridor. This is the ballroom. Ugh. Such terrible taste in music these people have. No, stop! Right, one of them's in the ballroom, right? Which was in the ballroom? Five of clubs, which... what does it say exactly? Anything more specific? You may inspire by chance if you partake of a dance. You know what? It is easy to see them with the lights on, so... Let's look around in here. Carefully, what's east? Oh, let's get through to the gallery. You may spy by chance. I mean, it's got to be slightly hidden, right? It's probably behind this. Can't see behind this. <laughs> it's not behind this. It's not under this. It's not appear to be just sitting on the floor either. Aha. Five of clubs, gotcha. There is one in the gallery, right? Yeah, eight of hearts. I believe there's also a guard in the gallery. We can uh, come around back to the gallery from the hallway. Let's check out the bathroom. Agatha, I don't care how many rumours of the Cyric Plague you've heard, there is simply no excuse for spending the entire month's housekeeping budget on toilet paper. See that most of these crates are returned, Howard. <laughs> Topical, well, back when this was released in uh, May of 2020. I guess still topical, but... Uh... Beachy Beats, Big Bad Bulk Box of Bog Roll, toilet paper, 24 rolls. If thou sprinkleth, when thou tinkleth, beast thou sweet, wipeth ye seat. Oh my god. Same sign on both of them.
Okay, where are we here? Oh, we've got the corner office, which I have been in, haven't I? Or not? Wait, that's off. Maybe I've been in here now. This is not familiar. The Rodeal Observatory events calendar, April to May. June, July, June 3rd, Leonides Meteor Shower, New Moon. July 3rd, Passage of Jinwalt's Comet. June 3rd, right? So. The Leonides Meteor Shower. I saw Aurelius the Blue at Greatest Western Elongation, June 6th. I guess that is what the telescope is pointing at. I don't know what I'm supposed to make of that, though. There was a note about the, the meteor shower. Like, maybe he'd written about it. Which means he was up there observing and... presumably and not. And not in a position to... murder the guy. I'm going to... just... But that is indeed the case. That uh, the lawyer didn't. The lawyer didn't done it. Hello, I see you. Six of diamonds in the corner office. Strange noise. I can't see. Whenever I find what it is. Okay, and smoking room. <laughs> Garrett, if there's a Garrett, there was a Garrett coughing noise, right? It should be like, comes in here. Come on, the room would be, I guess it doesn't, maybe they just want to come in here and inhale smoke, yes. Good use of the fog and particles. And this is the same hallway which we have explored already, but I guess that's the way we need to go. No, that's the way we came from. This is the way I want to go. Wait. There's a there's an entire void there. I feel like we maybe need to explore this smoking room slightly slightly more. Or possibly the gallery. I'll be annoyed if it's the gallery because the gallery has tiled floors and people. I see no signs here of any door. What I wanted. I thought, haha, a secret switch. I know, it's just a light. Hmm. I am deeply suspicious. Who made that noise? Alright, that's the old tower. I mean, I'm already extremely deeply suspicious of the old tower as well. Desecration! Okay, 
Page of Hearts in the gallery. Alright. Now oh, we should head east. There is also one in the dining room I have yet to get, I think. Alright, this is the guy who patrolled this corridor, so we don't need to worry about him. Right, what does it say about the dining room? Number seven of diamonds. That's a book of diamonds. Seventh, I presume, try looking in the dining room. Okay, this is also about being above a roaring fire. Look up, which is clearly not here, although this is... Well, it's a crackling fire. I'm not sure if it's roaring. I'm maybe not an expert in the mating calls of fires. <laughs> Hello. Seven of diamonds. Alright, so we've got the stairs that go north, go up, but we want to go south to the... Yeah, I've been in here. That's where I came up originally. In the basement. <laughs> you know what? We should write this thing. I guess that's as it goes. But it's fun! I guess in the banquet hall, if they're using the banquet hall, they have to just, uh... Nope, 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 nope. Um, when the banquet hall is in use, the servants have to bring everything by themselves. A key. Back door key, alright. Not realise the back door was locked. I suppose that might be the back door there. Well, there's a guard out there, but... Oh, okay, that's that switch. Let's do this switch. This is the morning room. Which, considering uh, recently deceased, I'm surprised it's not in greater attendance, right? Ha ha. Music room. Let's not play the music. Hello. I see you there. Another secret passage, okay. Evidently not answerable from here, but... Let's go to the pool room. Where are we? Where's that passage, perhaps? In the security room? Actually, that reminds me, one card is in a security room, right? So we, sh we do need to... Uh, check. I thought that vent was suspicious, right? I knew that vent was suspicious. Which one is in a security room, what does it say? But four of spades. With the spades book. What does Lever's room is hiding in the wall? The fourth residing. That must be this one. In the wall. <sighs> How dost it open? Right, that's gonna be, uh. Yeah, it's absolutely passage. And that'll give us access to this spot, which is where we see the smoking room from, but how? How's that? 
Uh, what is that thing? The foot! <laughs> and that's a sword. Don't repeat yourself. Don't, don't make the same mistake twice. How does that open? Make sure they're all turned off just in case, but uh <laughs> and we've got from it. Odds. Really isn't two ways in there, right? Dining room fireplace, maybe. I guess we can check the dining room fireplace. No, surely not. Does not appear to be anything up here. Besides, there's another spy hole into the dining room, so definitely not from the dining room. Hmm. Let's do this here. And move on for the moment. And come back and check it out. Okay. South to the pool room. South? Wait, we're in the gallery. need to go through this passage actually where this guy went wait for him to go past look at a painting by uh, Sir Peter Bruegel the Younger Hunters in the Snow Rendered in stunning low resolution. Still, very good painting. At least the Malvines had taste. Thought of. Where is this guard? Never, never, they're never there when you need them. I don't want to just rush out because I'm sure it'll backfire horribly. Here it is. No? Alright. Who's noising about then? Hello, Boring Guard, Seven of Clubs. That was nice, it's sitting there rotating. That's why it's patrols so it's as long as it is. <laughs> Alright, where are we now? We are in the bar. Very nice. And the amount of detail is 
Put into the furnace. It's amazing. That must be the gambling torso. You know, she's probably the easiest one to frame for. Uh... The theft. She would want money. Then, of course, she stands to inherit something. Books, is it? I don't remember. Don't know about anything over there. Nothing about the fireplace? Alright. My guard friend should have gone. And we have the billiard room. There's a green table. Under the green table. Hello? Jack of spades. Creepy noises. in physics. Still, they work. It works to a certain degree. What happens if we pocket them all? I mean, they do go in the pockets. Just say I've forgotten the order that you're supposed to sink the colored balls. Except the black is last. Oh, it's uh, stacking up. <laughs> they fall down to the bottom. Okay. I mean, that's that's impressively detailed. It's an impressively detailed uh, pool table, honestly. Nuka table. We want to wait for the guards is the safer room to do it from. Uh, but that means that's a dumb way to. So there's two secret passages here we have not explored, or maybe even three. There is maybe there. I don't know. I haven't checked that one, but it... oh no, we did check that one. We did that. That one's spying on the bathroom and the entry, but. So, I guess we go up. Yeah, let's look at the guard at the top level of the stairway. So, on this floor, then, Banquet Hall is west. Alright, so there's almost surely one on these uh, rafters that said it was looking down on the banquets or something of that nature. <sighs> this is an impressively, impressively fancy room. Look at this. Look at this roof. Too much coffee this morning. I'm twitchy as hell. Oh, careful. I'm, I'm very visible here. Let's go stand here. Take the three of clubs. Mark it off the list. And resume my admiration of this roof. It is, it is gorgeous. Many times nicer than uh, 
ones I make. Oh, that's alright. Never claimed my skill was in beautiful construction. way at all. Have I been here? Oh, this is the upper hallway around the theater. Okay. So if I want to take yet another look for a card up here, just rub wildly. Unless... Whoops. It's not like propped up on, like, one of these overhangs, is it? No, it doesn't appear to be. What just the actors who tread the boards? I mean, and applauds. How much more in the audience seating in the theatre can you get? I don't know. Can he go out of the room? I don't know. He might just be patrolling up here. So we need to go west anyway, so let's... Let's not wait and see whether he leaves the room. We can keep an ear out, maybe. Confuse him with the light switch. And check out the chapel. Where's this guy? Very mechanist uh, room. I mean, if I, you know, if I didn't know better, I would say this was the idol, the good luck charm idol he'd got. But I believe I do know better. All right, the chapel does have two doors. Where's the note about the chapel? In the one where you could hear it in the sermon, right? Where you might hear a sermon. It's just a card sitting in the pews. Doesn't look that simple. So that was the spades book, I think. From where a sermon might be heard, be penitent and find the third. Only the penitent, only the penitent man will pass. Okay, so we haven't been to rooms E O F, Darcy, and Victor and Francis. Let's get some lights up in here. Maybe not yet. Those little uh, mechanist gas lamps. Don't remember seeing those before. Hello, the golden gear from the chapel. Shall not be bequeathed to anyone while I have a say in it. Ah, she says the artist. She's the one with the drug problem, right? Victor Levitt's miracle cream put your doctor out of business. Was it? Where's my, where's my like guest list? Frances Levitt, yes, famous for her drug habit. No, it was, she's not the one I wanted to frame, it was the, it was Lucy, Lucy Malvane, Raymond's wife. Right, we'll go up there and frame them. Dear Frances, if you'll forgive me for saying so, your mother certainly isn't getting any younger, and she was always a little forgetful. 
My concern is simply one of security. A half ton of solid metal bolt door won't do any good if she leaves the code lying around on a scrap of paper. All I'm saying is, keep an eye on her and make sure the other security measures are up to scratch. Yours faithfully, Nathaniel. Sabrina, you're missing the point, I'm afraid, though I appreciate your offer of a holiday at your country manor. The fact is that the art scene simply bores me. It's all too safe, too clean, too formulaic. They call my art challenging, shocking, but they know nothing. They enjoy the scandal of it, nothing more, like a priest in a whorehouse. I despise them all. No, the solution is to go further, push the boundaries of what art can be, create a piece that leaves the world indelibly changed. True art is sacrifice, and it will take audacity and courage. So maybe she killed him for art. Mr. Levitt, no, I will not endorse your miracle cream, as you call it, for I do not believe it to be anything more than a fraudulent attempt to swindle the more gullible inhabitants of the city. If you would reveal to me a list of the ingredients used, I may be convinced to reconsider, but I suspect your reticence is due to the contents of said cream being rather less than miraculous. Yours sincerely, Dr. Terence Graves. Very well. Whoops, wrong button. What's that door? Alright. That's not the balcony where we're gonna find the card, so. Jory, is that you? Yeah, it's me. It's alright. Oh, that's the chapel I've been there. This is what I want. So this is. already forgotten. Darcy! Darcy being eldest daughter, the Hammerite supporter, okay. Sent the rooms Institute for PS Ladies. Meeting the third day in June. 715, summon from Lady Darcy Malvin, the trials of faith in the age of heresy. 845 PM. Question discussion of summons minutes to be taken. Institute business. It does seem like uh, she may not have been at home when the murder happened. Hammerite Combat, Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens and Rules of Conduct, Volume 27. For there is none more intolerable than the heretic, and he shall forever be denied a place by the Builder's side. It is the duty of the faithful to drive the heretics out, to strike them down, be it with warrior's might or woman's cunning. And she has nightshade. Still, we don't have any knowledge of symptoms, right? Nightshade and precepts, I'll just say that. The Book of Poisons and the Library talked a lot about symptoms, but I have not read any report of symptoms. Not even from the doctor, surprisingly. Like, the doctor's notes didn't seem to mention it. I, am. Um... Well, I mean, I can always accuse anybody of lack of some matter, right? It, it doesn't... When you think you know who you're in, do it. But it would be good to have a more certain conception of who it was, I would think. Well, we need the library now. We can check the, check the book of poisons again, I suppose. Funny that they switch to their bow as they get further away from me, even though... You know, they, they sensibly don't know I'm here.
wondering if I have been up here. Is this the one with the big vases? No, I have not been up here. A bottle, a big jar or something. And here we have some books. Oh, and an apple. That's right, he was reading about dealing with insomnia now. Okay, what was the one about a book? Is that Ace of Spades? Let's check the Spades book. When curling up to read a book, it's you'll find if you just look. If you're curling up to read a book from there. He's upstairs, but he. I think he's above my head. Oh shit. We've been uh, spotted. I do have another one more flash bomb, don't I? Or did I use that too? I, I used that too. A gas mine. Better hope you don't find me. I do a noise maker, but I'm not sure if I want to use it. I saw an intruder earlier. Stay sharp. The thief's in the building. I worked the guy up. He's short. He's very short. Stop this villain! Someone! You didn't see me, did you? Oh, fine. Go get another guard. There's, clearly, there's got to be another secret thing in me there, right? The fact that they get to see me in pitch darkness is very odd. Right, here we are, book, book of Poison. So, Nightshade, Blurred Vision, Loss of Balance, Confusion, and Convulsions. We have time to get from his bedroom to the, uh... See, so perhaps it wasn't... Hemlock, but we found somebody with wolf, wolf spans, somebody with nightshade, right? So, oh, I, have, I still have no information whatsoever on his death and symptoms. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to make a note of this. So, actually, I'm going to just take a screenshot of it. I'm 
I can probably come back and check it if it's relevant, but... Going up to read a book. Well, now we can be going up to read a book. It's one you'll find if you just look. I have to assume the clock hands are correct. That's the upstairs guard, right? Let's just stick a rope here. So I can see the man's beast relatively safely. would you go up to read a book? Hello. There's definitely uh, another secret room there too, right? Nor do I. It says, it says found secret, but I really don't think I it did. It's to my left. Is it over here? No. Oh god, there's a guy again. Guys, stop wandering around up here. I'm trying to find who murdered your boss. I guess your old boss. What did that open? walk through this. Okay, that seems very strange, but okay. Am I prepared for another jump scare? Whoops. Only kind of. Hallway. And... Is that the security room? I guess that is the security room. Yeah. This is no... Everything I did now, my luck had changed. I began to lose when I gambled. Unfortunate coincidences began to occur more and more frequently. I could not sleep, for whenever I was about to drift off, I would hear the squeal of metal on metal, distant but piercing, and I would fly away with all my hair standing on end, feeling as though someone had just been leaning over my bedside but a second before. I became more and more reclusive, afraid to do anything for fear of the curse that I knew now haunted me. I was terrified for Maria, and for the child that she now carried inside her. At last, the day came that the child was due. In desperation, I ventured back down to the vault. I found the idol still there, sitting innocently in its humanoid configuration. It sat silent while I pleaded with it, begged it to spare my wife and child, now struggling in labour far above. Hello? Nine of clubs. What was nine of clubs? Behind the library fire. Well, indeed, we are behind the library fire, yes. So there's another lever there. Hello. Is this the smoking room? <coughs> Ouch. This is the smoking room, and this is the room behind the smoking room. 
that has been bricked up. And there is a skeleton sitting in the chair. And here we will end the episode. Thanks for watching and we will see what awaits us next time.